Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a video um, with a tutorial on how to put together this 3D castle, which is so cute. I love it so much. I love how this one turned out. And anyway, so I thought I would do a tutorial on how to put this one together. Okay. So I thought we would just go along. I'm not going to speed through it. I, um, I'm going to just go step by step and show you. Um, I have prepared a little bit ahead of time, but um, to make it not quite so long. But um, yeah, so let's get together and show. Let me show you what you need to do and we'll put it together. Okay. So first step. You're going to need to cut one of this. This is just the base that's just without the stitching. So you're going to need one of those, which I have cut out here. I'm using 110 pound cardstock. I recommend it um, to give you way more sturdiness than if you just use regular, you know, pattern paper or regular cardstock. Okay. <clears throat> All mine are, are going to be 110 pound cardstock with another um, uh, pattern paper layered on top. Okay. So you need one of those. You're going to need one of this one, which is the stitch layering piece. So I have that one right here. Okay. <clears throat> These are your walls. You're going to need to cut this out twice. Okay. So I have cut mine out once here and once I have our one I have already put together just to kind of save time since we don't need to be doing two on camera. Okay. So you're going to need to cut out two of these out of the cardstock if you you know if you choose to do that and then you are going to need um, to cut out four of these that are just the layering pieces here out of your pattern paper okay so here's my here's my two I've cut out of pattern paper okay <clears throat> now if you want to layer up your panel with the window also. What I did to do that was um, after I cut my panel, so I, I cut four more of these panels and then I laid them on the panel with the windows and I taped them in place with some washi tape so they wouldn't move on me. I just You just center it between all the edges there, tape it down and then run it through. And when you do that, it will give you that panel piece with the window cut out. Okay. So anyway, four of these plain and four of them that you lay back over once you cut them out. <clears throat> so basically you're going to cut out eight of these, eight panels, and then four of them, if you want it to cover the window, you're going to lay them back in again and then run them through again and cut out the window part of it. Okay. <clears throat> so like that. And then you're going to need to cut out four of these. So if you run, there's two of them. So if you run just through twice, that will cut you out your little window decorative piece. Okay. Um, I didn't cut this one out because I, um, I didn't use this on my first one, but this is, you know, for the flag on top of the roof if you want it. Okay. This is the roof piece. You're going to need to cut this out twice. Okay. So I cut mine out out of 110 pound cardstock, and then I cut it out again with the pattern paper, thin pattern paper. Okay. And then you're going to need to cut this piece out twice. Okay. So two that will look like this. Okay. So let's put them together real quick. <clears throat> okay. So first up, you take your plain base, the one without the stitching. Okay, I already took my pieces, so we're going to go to this point. <clears throat> we are going to go ahead and layer up all of these pieces. <clears throat> so how's everybody doing? Are you getting excited for the new release? There's some fun, fun dies that you're going to want for your stash, so I highly recommend it. Okay, then we're just going to kind of line this up 
in between the, um, you're able to see like score marks down there. You're gonna wanna kinda just center that in between. And then, as I've told you guys before, after I put the glue down, I always put my glass block on top, well, my acrylic block on top while I'm getting the glue ready for my next piece and that just helps it to stay down flat and nice and neat and it's not all ripply or anything like that. Okay, so here's the second piece that's plain. I'm going to line that one up on here. Let me pull this up a little bit closer so I can see where the edges are and get it centered in there. Okay, so just kind of press that down a little bit. Again, I'm going to lay my glass block on block, <laughs> my block on top. I keep saying glass, it's acrylic. Okay, now we're going to take these two pieces that we ran through to cut the window out. Just kind of put that all around. Okay, then we're going to layer this up. Now this one, I'm just going to line up the window. And that should center it just right by layering up, you know, by lining up the window. Twist it if, ooh, twist it if you need to. Careful not to rip. Okay, try not to push down until I'm ready. Okay. That's off just a tad. Get that over just a little bit. Okay block down again. Okay, I'm just going to call it glass block. That's what I keep calling it. Okay, here's the other one with the window cut out. And then I'm going to line that up right here with the window again. Okay, press that down. On again. Okay, now I'm going to take my little window pieces. I'm only going to put glue on the outside because there's nothing behind here in the middle, so I don't want to put it all over these middle pieces, okay? So I'm just going to put this around the edge. <coughs> now you could make this a shaker if you wanted to, but I didn't on any of mine yet. So I'll just put that there and press that down. There we go again. <laughs> uh, I always go all ski wampus on these, get it all over myself. Okay. Press that down a little bit, and boom. <coughs> okay. <coughs> the next thing I'm going to do, let's just let that dry. So now we're going to fold this piece here. Okay, so I'm just going to fold on all of these score marks, and all the fold marks, I'm going to press it down good. Okay. Use your bone folder. Oops. That one. Fold it down to. Okay, and then here's the edge piece. That we're gonna attach the two together with. Okay, now we're gonna fold the bottom pieces up. And make sure we got those creased good. Sorry. Okay. okay, so there's all our folds on this piece, and then we're going to do the same thing with our layering piece. Okay. Sorry, I'm having a hard time seeing down in there where the lines are. 
when I'm not in my usual position I'm in to make it. <clears throat> okay, and then last, here's the tab piece right here. Okay, and then again, we're going to fold all these up and paste them. So there's all of this layering piece. Now I, <clears throat> I just um, glued this together on both both of them that I did, and it turned out great. Um, you're going to want to make sure you do the folding before you. Um, I think that's what really helped. I've done this before where I layered it up and then I folded afterwards. And then I had a hard time folding on the because of the double layer. But I think if you do the folding before you glue it down, then it works best. Because I didn't have any trouble getting these together or you know. <clears throat> you know them cracking or anything like that so we're just going to go ahead and put glue I'm just going to do all of the top piece not these little flaps that are hanging down yet okay. all right and then I'm going to take my pattern paper and I'm going to line it up right here on this edge and then just kind of fold it around and it lines up really well okay I'm going to go ahead and press it out flat again just kind of burnish it all down okay and then now I'm going to take these little flaps here and go ahead and um, glue these down now. <clears throat> now I'm sure if you <clears throat> try to do this all at the same time, <coughs> excuse me, it probably wouldn't work good on, you know, because again, for the fold, it's, it's going to take up more of the, the room in the paper. So just kind of go through and glue all these down. here on that piece to the side <clears throat> and now we're going to go ahead and do uh, the next step so <clears throat> this is the first step is attaching your sides to your bottom at least that's how I did it um, and I've already done the one so we could save time but I'm going to go show you on the second one Let's see I guess we still need to fold this up so see I may have to pull this over out of the view a little bit just so I can make sure I'm seeing the, the fold lines good. I'm having a hard time with the, the lighting. It looks a little dark from up here. down this edge right here, our little tab edge. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and now we're going to fold these flaps and burnish them. goes together really fast and it's, and it's easy too. Okay, <clears throat> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue on these down here and I'm going to stick it under and just line up each, you know, each angle. So, but I'm going to do one at a time just so I can make sure that um, you know, it's all lined up good so I'm not, you know, getting too far ahead of myself. And then see for this first one 
So you're gonna make, make sure that you have it lined up down here. Okay. So you can see how it's lined up with the other one. And then plus this has got to line up with this flap right here, your little tab. Okay. So I'm just gonna do the bottom part first though. Okay. So let me turn it this way again so that I can get it um, pressed down. I think I've fiddled around with it so much I might have lost most of my glue. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to push this down in here. I'm going to stick my hand inside and just kind of press down. Dang it. <clears throat> it's super easy, but I'm just having a hard time because of, of course, because that's what happens when you do a video. <clears throat> So I just kind of put my finger in there. You can use a bone folder, whatever. I think I think I'm going to go ahead and do this seam now also. So I'm just gonna kind of turn it on its side. Get some glue down in there. this lined up. So of course things are moving around a bit on me. Okay you guys. <coughs> We're gonna do this again. <coughs> Okay, this time I'm gonna I'm gonna go back and do this again with this side. With um I'm gonna do the side first. Since it's given me a hard time. out here and do this start with these bottom ones again okay let's push that down right there okay hold it in place a little bit longer than I did before so it starts to stick okay now I'm gonna put some in here again on this one. Okay, just gonna line it up with the with the angle. Again, we're gonna push top and bottom. It's easiest if you just set it down on your desk and you know press so you can get that pressed in real good. Okay, now I'm gonna put some more glue down here on the so that this next flap. And turn it and just tuck that in, right in again. Stick my finger down in there, put some glue on it. And press down real good. Okay, and then this last one. Same thing. And then turn it. Press it in. And I put my tab on the inside so it'll be ready to attach as soon as I get this down good. Them down inside there okay all right now let's go ahead and do this other side flap okay and let's just press that down right there together 
and we should be good. Just, just keep it steady there. Don't get too excited yet, Monty. Okay. Thank goodness for um, liquid glue that you can move a little bit when you need to. Press on the table again. Okay, so just like that. <coughs> Excuse me, here's your base. Your bottom. Okay, next I'm going to do, take our layering piece. This is a piece with the stitching. And we're going to cover that over the bottom. That's going to cover all these little flaps that are glued down. <coughs> so sturdy too okay <clears throat> and then next <clears throat> we are ready to we're gonna go ahead and attach this piece to here okay I've already got this one done okay so now what we're gonna do <clears throat> Let's see, I'm wondering if I want to attach this first and then add in my that piece or if I want I think I think we're going to let me see what should I do? I think I'm gonna go ahead and attach this piece to the bottom like I did on, on this one that I've already done already. <coughs> so what I did on mine, now I've seen people put this these this piece up and I've seen people put it down also. So you can do it either way. It looks cute both ways. Um, but I put mine for this one already up, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing with this one. <coughs> okay, we need to make sure we fold this one on all the folds. So let's do that real quick. Sorry, I have to keep pulling it over into the light so I can, the better light so that I can see where the fold mark is. There we go. <laughs> Tail getting old. Need lots of light to be able to see, and this looks, you know, pretty bright. It's just <clears throat> I have the light shining down on my phone to get make it brighter, <clears throat> so then I can't see very well underneath here. <laughs> it is not as bright. Okay, so this is going to go up the top. So what we're going to do now is <clears throat> put some glue right here on each of these, and we're just going to start um, layering this up. And I'm going to I'm going to put so these pieces are going to go up. I'm going to put this right against the bottom, and I'm just going to just make it all even, you know, right along the bottom as we go, like that, okay? So I will put this piece on. And then again, I just line this up with the other piece, okay? Press it down <clears throat> so it stays. Okay. Now I'm going to put some glue on this one. And we're going to press this one down. Line it up with the bottom again. So 
some blue on this one. And then again, we want it all the way to the bottom. So make sure you have it all straight. <coughs> okay, and then we have one more right here to glue down. Bend it around and get it lined up. Okay. So now this piece looks like this first piece that I already did off camera. Okay, so now we're ready to glue these together. <clears throat> so first off, can't hold on to anything. So I'm going to put some glue right here and glue uh, this, these two together. Okay. I'm going to flip this little tab back until I get the top piece in place correctly. And then I'll glue the tab under that other uh, border piece there. Too much. Okay, and then I'm gonna stick this, these two pieces together. These two are gonna bend together right here. Okay, hopefully that's gonna work good. I might have to, I may need to pull this up and stick that right there. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so before you get this very edge glued in, um, tuck this tab piece underneath there and that'll make it line up nice and neat from the inside also. Okay. I'm just gonna hold this together till it stays. good it's coming together okay and then now we're just going to kind of well let's let's not do it quite yet it's not probably not quite dry enough because we kind of got to bend this around so we kind of just make our folds a little more pronounced again so that what it will curve around and make the make the corner make the curves i guess okay so now let's Go ahead and pull this up just a tad so I can tuck that back down under there once I get that other piece. So I'm going to put the glue right there now. And bend this around. I'm going to kind of tuck that up underneath there. I still need to get this down well first though. Okay. 
It's a little bit longer on these because I got, this is pretty thick because I got that 110 pound plus the other paper layered on top of it. So, keep pressing that down for a minute. Sorry, I keep kind of pulling it back to myself. I forget I'm going to be out of frame. <coughs> And then I'm going to tuck this in here. Some glue on this flap right here and get this kind of pushed in. For some reason, I'm struggling. There we go. I think I'm just struggling because I'm having, you know not being able to be right on top of it to see how I have things lined up and stuff you know because of because of the camera and stuff <clears throat> so hold this together for a little bit make sure it's nice and tight and this piece right here too make sure it's staying together done guys almost done as soon as I get this to stay as soon as I get this to stay where it's put if I had my hot glue gun heat it up, I'd put a little tad in there, just keep it from being able to move before the rest of it's dry. Should be about ready though. <clears throat> okay, I think it's ready. Now we just line up a couple of the sides and push it on and voila! It is done. Look how cute that is. Just kind of get them pushed down evenly on the sides. Look how cute. Then you got the fun part, just decorating it however you want to decorate it. And you can stick the flag onto like a um, pick or something and have it coming out the top here or, you know, whatever, however you want to decorate it. Um, you see on this one, I did trim you know, around the bottom here of this. And then flowers and some ephemera and stuff just to kind of decorate real pretty. And then I put that up there. I stuck my little pick down in the center, you know, then add, um, uh, added, a, added a bead into it, this big bead. And then I added this ephemera piece up here in between the two for my, for my topper. So, so cute. This one's going to be cute, too, after I get it decorated. It's already cute, but it's not fancy yet. Got to make it fancy. So, anyway, that is how you do that. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. I'd be happy to answer them for you the best I can. And, um, yeah, I'll list the die down below. I'll um, list Erica's, um, the website. And... And then, um, and I can't list the link yet because we don't have it, of course. But um, I'll put my discount code down below. So if you decide to pick up any of these dies once they're available, you'll be able to save yourself 10% off your total order. And um, I'll put my affiliate link down there too. So if you use that, it gives me a little bit of 
uh, a little portion of the sale, so that helps me out. It doesn't cost you anything else. So yeah, I think it turned out really cute. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back soon with another tutorial. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.